Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. In this video, we'll discuss solutions to the questions in paper 2 of the 2014 JE Advanced Physics question paper. Question 10. Uh, we have a glass capillary tube in the shape of a truncated cone. So it's something like this. Right, this is a glass capillary. Instead of the standard test tube, it's like this. And this, when extended, makes an angle alpha. Its apex angle is alpha. And it is put inside water and you have some water rising. And the contact angle is theta. Now it would be the standard thing you know, except the contact angle now is this angle. Right. Which is theta. Right. Normally the wall was vertical, so the contact angle was the same as the angle with the vertical. That's not true in this case, right? And this angle, what is this angle? The rest of it with the vertical, this is alpha by 2 because this would be alpha by 2, right? Alternate interior angles. So the equation you'll get is S into the radius is B. So S into 2 pi B, that would be the force acting, but that force would be acting along this direction. And if the wall was vertical, you would do that into cos theta, but that's the difference in this question. Now, now you need to do this into cos of theta plus alpha by 2, because we want the net vertical component of this. That is equal to the net gravitational force, which is pi b square h, and what else is given in the question? Rho g. Because we are given this is b, and this height is h and we can almost as you it's actually I've drawn the figure sort of wrongly it's generally the figure would be something like this right it rises up and then at the edge there's a contact angle it won't generally be a sphere like this right? it'll be like this so the volume will be pi b square h rho g and from that you can get uh, you need the value of h that will be uh, b cancels with this so 2s cos of alpha plus uh, cos of theta plus alpha by 2 by b rho g which is option d. So the answer to this question is option d. Thank you.